what are you doing? We are getting ready to paint the car. Really? Paint the car. Well, we'll see. Hopefully. So, why are you spraying it with water? Get all the dust and everything off of it. Make sure it's nice and clean. Good point. We still uh, probably should wipe it down with acetone before we paint it and all, but... Thank you. You got me all wet. That's just a little water. You told me yesterday you like water. I hate water. Oh, now you hate water. <laughs> I love swimming. I hate getting wet. Uh, so this is uh, Joe's Crossfire and Joe did a ton of body work and the whole thing with this car is it's not You know, we're not making it a show car or anything like that uh, We just wanted it to look better than it was because it's gonna get partially wrapped and then today we're painting it and uh, It's definitely a lot better But the whole purpose is Joe's gonna be driving this as a legit rally car and uh, hopefully here What about a month? Hopefully in about a month, what, is, what did I say, August 23rd is the goal. Yeah, so I think August 23rd he's trying to make a race with it. So he's gotten a lot cleaned up and just gone through this thing top to bottom. Um, now we're working on making it look a little better. So we're going to paint this today and then he's got a wrap for it. That's pretty cool. Uh, it'll be kind of a black and white camouflage over the back. So we'll let him get this thing cleaned up and we'll get her dry and start getting things set up for paint. Well, Joe has gone through, he washed this, and then he came back, uh, you wiped it down, did you use acetone? I did, I used a little bit of acetone. Though. Okay. So now he's taping off, uh, of course, all the windows, all the areas we don't want paint. Um, I mean, it's nothing too terribly exciting. So, we've got, uh, instead, we're going to actually be doing this, we've got our paint gun here. We've used these before, but this is the first time actually painting anything other than an axle or a chassis. So we're not professional painters or anything like that. So bear with us. This is a little bit of a learning experience, but we wanted to try and step it up a little bit. So we're going to be using this. It is a Krylon implement paint. It's very durable. Uh, it's a very good paint. It's made for tractors and stuff that sees the elements. Uh, we're also going to be using a hardener. Uh, we have the hardener and then to reduce it We're going to be using uh, acetone everything we read says acetone works the best so we'll be doing about a 15% reduction with acetone And I got to double check, but I think it's a 5% reduction or no, it's 10% acetone with a 5% hardener so Oopsie. We're gonna mix that up um, test a couple settings on the gun and we're going to shoot a couple pieces of metal to see how it lays out. Uh, so Joe's going to keep taping. I am going to test some paint and we'll see how it works. Free up my hands real quick. All right. Hold that first oh. Okay. So what mix did you go on this? Uh, so we did... 5% hardener, 10% acetone, okay, and the rest paint. So, I've got my pressure set. We're going to run about 20, about 26 PSI on this. Um, so, I've got, for a test piece, this is a hood from another vehicle. This is the uh, Oldsmobile build at Joe Jump. So, it'll work perfect for testing out the paint. So, because we don't care. Well, pretty much. All right, Joe, so we've got a couple sprays down, tried some different settings. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. 
It's, uh, I think this last one laid out better. There's some texture to it, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, it's still wet. We'll see how it dries out. This was some of the first ones. Obviously, this isn't a, isn't fully prepped, but. It's also not uh, $1,000 worth of automotive paint. It's, no, no. <laughs> it's no. about uh, $75 worth of industrial paint. So. Exactly. And I, you can tell the difference with that, though. It's. Oh, it's actually right here. Yeah. Kind of starting to smooth out a little Is bit. right here. Kind of. I so, do like the color though. This here. Yeah, it's it's kind of a satin that, black. Yeah. That low gloss. Yeah, that's what I want. I, I, that's better than a gloss because gloss will show every single imperfection. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So, all right, are we uh, ready to do some test sprays on the car now? I, I mean, think we ought to go ahead and spray the car. Okay. Let's uh, so get set up here. And okay. I got to get a mask and go from there. Where do? We, well, we can start on the back because the back is going to be wrapped. So. If there's any errors, we can improve from the back forward, right? Absolutely. I think I like that idea. Okay. Yeah, because the wrap is going to go from at least this point here around down to there and possibly yeah, a little further. So it's so. probably going to stop about right there on the door we'll line, see. right? Yep, we'll okay. see. So. Well, let's see what happens.
the first day is complete and here's where we're at so the car is now black um it's got two coats we waited about a half an hour between the first and the second coat and overall we're not too disappointed we definitely there was something weird about this paint um from what i've painted before normally you would spray in wider coats but for some reason this laid way better if you were a little bit closer and laid a little bit of a thicker coat so on the second coat we went a little thicker overall we used a gallon of paint on this and uh had a couple little couple little oops spots um got to run the door handle we got to fix and then this sucked a beetle came in and landed right there in that paint so I was washing my hands and Joe was out here getting all upset and I'm like, what'd you do? He's like, there's a beetle! Walking across the hole. He was mad. The best part of the car too. And bugs are definitely a problem. So this back half of the car is getting wrapped. So we don't really care about the paint underneath it, honestly. And if you saw where this car came from, I mean, it's a night and day difference now <laughs> from where it was. And uh, there's a new windshield going in. That's why we didn't even bother taping that off. Um, but it's not too bad. Uh, so what's next, Joe? Uh, Daniel wants to do a wet sand on it, so we'll probably do a light wet sand on it just to clean up some of the imperfections. Definitely some of the areas where some bugs got in there. Yeah. Um, we got uh, some cosmetic -y stuff to do, probably some uh, hood vents. Uh, oh yeah, do you mesh, have those hood vents? Mesh grill, we got a... Where are those hood vents? Oh, they're in the car. I'm not getting them out right now. Okay, yeah, they're <laughs> sticky. Um, we're gonna do a, a, about a half skid on the front up here. Yes. So it should I don't go. know if you saw Joe trim the bumper, so yeah. now it's taller. So the skid's going to primarily go to cover right in here where the uh, bottom of the radiator support is. Yep. To, to keep from anything kicking up in the radiator. And then uh, roll cage, seat belts, and I mean, we'll be getting close Yep. at that point. So oh, we'll man. See. Anyway, uh, once again, Dylan and I want to stress that, one, this is a budget race car. Two, we aren't body guys. I'm definitely not a body guy. Um, you can see that there's still some imperfections. There's still some hail. Um, the paint's not perfect. That was not my goal. My goal was to clean this car up. I yep. want it to look better, than better, it was. better than it was. That's yes. really where we're going with it. So, and if we're being honest, neither one of us have ever painted a car before. Uh, so I this, have. I'll have you. And it looked horrible. Did it? Yes. What was it? It was, uh, my old Cherokee. I used mm. the duplicolor pre-mix paint you get it most of the auto parts stores and i'll tell you what it just did not lay up really well it, <laughs> definitely need to have the multi multi-part paint the the hardener and the reducer so yeah hopefully with the hardener this paint's going to be more durable um and with it being an implement paint it's a more durable paint as it is uh but either way just stressing before you guys hate on us too much we've never painted a car we've never really done all this to a vehicle and we just want to take this opportunity to kind of expand what we do and, and again just try something new it's industrial tractor paint it is 13 dollars a quart um you know the stuff that you're using this on farm equipment most people don't really care i think it laid out pretty well i think it's going to be very durable i'm happy yep and you can't even Oh, man, the camera can't even, it looks so much better in the camera. <laughs> you can't even see. There's a little bit of rippling. This fender actually is not too bad at all. But once we uh, wet sand it, and are we throwing another coat after we wet sand it? I don't know. Let's see what it looks like after we wet sand it. And I do have this, just in case, because race cars get beat up. This is the rattle can version ah, of what uh, can... we just shot. So, is. Huh, interesting. I wonder how different that is compared to what we sprayed. And for anybody wondering why there's water all over the floor, so we were told that the best thing to do for paint is get your floor wet, and then the paint will just sit on top of it. And and some areas it did, and some areas it didn't work. It didn't. We need to clean this floor anyways. We just cleaned this whole area of the shop up a lot, and we'll probably come through here and acid wash this floor anyways, but... Nevertheless, Joe's car is now have its first coat of paint, and I personally think it looks much better. Much better indeed. The only problem now is you cannot see out this windshield. It is tinted so dark. 
Okay, it's actually painted, but <laughs> you know what's sad, Joe? Hmm. Is that painted windshield actually makes it look better? I know you can't see all the cracks in there from the hail, <laughs> except for the two big ones right in the middle. Oh my goodness! Oh man, that windshield is getting replaced very soon. Too bad it didn't cover the rest of the car like it did the windshield. Once the paintwork is done, uh, Joe has a guy that's going to come in and put a new windshield in it, and uh, you know. Unfortunately, even right here, you can kind of see there's still a bunch of hail dents, but what are you going to do? You know, once we throw some stickers on here and everything comes together, it'll it'll look good. <laughs> what? Nothing. Okay. Do the outro. Oh, so uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, maybe you take some ideas away. Maybe you got some ideas to give. Let us know in the comments. Um, maybe you see what not to do. <laughs> And maybe you see what you can do. Um, either way, if you like the video, um, you know, give us a thumbs up, leave us some comments, um, hit the bell to get the notifications. And until next time, fist bump for Daniel and fist bump for you. He let me do a fist bump. Yeah.